Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. The Honorable Judges and what I'm proud of all the participants in International Walisongo Science Competition 20 and 23. I would to like to express my gratitude for the opportunity given to me. The Honorable Judges, let me I introduce myself. My name is Emar Mokiman Kalandari and I'm from Hastanudin University. Today, I will present the particle project on elasticity, especially the vertical mesh spring system. What is the elasticity? Elasticity is the property of an object or material to undergo deformation when a force is applied to it, and the return to its original shape and size after the force is removed. In this context, of a spring elasticity refers to ability of the spring to stress to stress when the subject to a load and the return to its original length when the load is released. Is the theory is correct? Let's find out. The procedure we will follow is a post. The first prepare the equipment and materials and the second is assemble the system and the third analyze the system. In analyzing the system, we will consider the revolving aspect, the first, how to the system moves, and the second, how many constraints are there in the system, and the third is how many degrees of the freedom are there in the system, and the fourth, we will count the equation motion for the system. For this particle experiment, we will need to a rule, we need a rule to measure the length of the spring before and after we apply the load. And uh, 200 and 200 gram or 0.2 kilogram weight as the load and the spring itself as an object and observation for its elasticity and there is a support stand to suspend the, the spring let's assemble the system the first we set up we set up the support stand like this and the second is we hang the spring we hang the spring and after we hang the spring we must to measure the length of the spring before we attack the weight And then we get it 7.5 cm. And after that, we attach the weight to the spring. And after we attach the weight to the spring, let's we apply a force. And I could, we can to observe the system. Let's do system analysis. How many constraints are there in the system? The constraint contained in this vertical spring mesh system is the ability of the spring to stretch to its limit. How many degrees of freedom are there in the system? The degree of this vertical spring mesh system is the one or a single degree of freedom. Because the system only moves on the y-axis, the system only has one degree of freedom, which means the system only moves up and down vertically. The next question, how to find the equation move? To find the equation move, we can use Euler-Lagrange equation, where T is a kinetic energy and a V is a potential energy. The kinetic energy of the system is the one half times mass times y dot, where y dot is the velocity, and for potential energy is one half times mass times y square minus mass times gravity times y where the Euler Lagrange equation is L equal T minus V and we enter each value for kinetic energy and energy obtained or Lagrange obtained L equal one half times mass times y dot square minus one half times k times y square plus mass times gravity times y and to get um, 
equation move you cannot use this we cannot use this equation ddt do l do l do y dot minus do l do y equal zero and we enter the value of l and we get it mass times y double dot equal times mass times gravity minus k times y Based on conductive particle experiment, it can be concluded that theory aligned with the problems. That concludes my project presentation. I apologize for any shortcomings and thank you for your attention. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.